what are like the basic things a successful Christian should do every day to just, you know, be in that place where your spiritual life can be grounded and it just have this consistent upward trajectory? That's the question I want to answer. Excellent uh, question. Um, yes, uh, trying to link minimum requirement for success to uh, a Christian life. Uh, success as a Christian. For I want to uh, turn that minimum requirement for a Christian rather and call it victorious daily living for a Christian. Victorious daily living. So, and you can actually check this out. Uh, growing up as a young convert, uh, that's one book that was helpful for me, Victorious Daily Living. And it was from the archive of John Wesley. It was from the archives of John Wesley. So you may search it up and it remains the same. Uh, the people make big deal out of uh, this simple life Christ has given us to live. So I don't think I can exhaust all here, but because you have asked, and it's very important. Number one starts with you making up your mind to live for God, just what we have said. There are many people who say they are Christian, they want to live for God, but they have not made up their minds. <laughs> and, and that's what we are here for and what we are still talking about. Make up your mind that you want to live for God, the true God and nothing else. That's the starting point. Number two, when that, that, why that seems simple, you really need to sit down and say, I want to live this life for God. And you look at the things and the ways you have been doing things before. So number two is the steps we have provided in the who is a Christian. Again, talking about people taking these things and practicing it rather than just think there are other ways. There aren't other ways. So the steps you take, to number one, give your life to God through Jesus Christ. That is genuinely being born again. You repent. And number three, so having repented is to also then go through that same step. That number four gets you into the space of doing. So that is develop your daily routine, which starts one with your quiet time. And quiet time is about prayer, reading the Bible. Prayer and reading your Bible. That's the, and then the third arm of that, which I will call number five, is seek to understand the basic principles of the faith, of the faith. You must come to a personal understanding by the scripture, the studying of the Bible, that's what you do, which is number five. You must continue to study the Bible and pray and learn in fellowship, in teaching to, to the point that you know what you know, that's the point. And what you know is all about Jesus Christ. There is nothing more. So you must come to that understanding of who Jesus really is in your life and how that translates into different aspects of your life and live. If you do this, you will have a victorious Christian life. It will only be the details under these five headings that you expand. If you want to add number six, it, which is changing, continuous improvement, continuous change. I think that's part of number five. Is also part of number two, which is repentance from sin and all that. So those are the ones I would say. Um, so under number five, of course, I've added that that's where you fellowship as we are. You learn, you uh, interact, and you study by yourself as well. So I believe that will help everyone. Thank you.